I'm Robert Aubrey Davis, joined by Riley Lewis, of course, of the Cathedral Choral Society. And, and Riley, we look at the, this this French and Belgian group of composers, and, and as I was kind of looking at, at this, it's first there's such ravishing music, but there's two amazing connections. You had this Belgian teacher of Bach, who put his name on an entire music school. You have the figure of César Franck, you have Jean-Marie Vidor, you have these titans but they were so involved with the world of the organ. This must have been something that it led to a whole musical school of comp because they all taught, you know, the next generation, the next generation, not the next generation. But they had this feeling for two great things, Bach and the organ, didn't they? Well, and for me, my, my um, link, if you will, direction through this was, was through, in particular, an experience I had in, of all places, Notre Dame Cathedral. In Good France, place. Good place. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. On the Feast of the Assumption, no less, hearing Pierre wow. Cochereau improvise on the Ave Mar Stella. Oh, and, uh, man. But there is a, a fabulous piece that I've done uh, several times, the, the Mess Solennelle by Louis Vierne. Mm -hmm. And I've just, that piece is just always just moved me so much and and so I was I was guided through that and through my love of French music in general and the organ to um, to pursue choral works by these composers by composers that I had up to that point only known really as organists and and that really branched out the the, the most you know, to as Jean and the Belgian composer his that mass setting was just fantastic. huge by the way yeah um, and then of course Dupre you mentioned Vidor Messiaen mm -hmm. uh, Durreflet Forêt Franck it's just a veritable feast of, of beautiful pieces and a lot of pieces that people just don't uh, you know do not do not know and and yet it, it all has that wonderful patina of uh, color what's French music color and texture and and that it just breathes and soars in in these spacious acoustics and of course the organ is definitely front and center in all of this you know it I, I, any other way it's, it's wonderful when you discover an extra literary fact that explains yeah. something yeah. and I didn't really understand until I got into this deal that the job of being an organist was certainly a lot more stable than the job of being a composer. And so these guys really went after these, you know, Sansul Peace and these big, mm -hmm. and they really wanted these jobs and hung on to them for 20, 30, 40 years because they, they got paid, I guess. Well, I can definitely relate to that because when I came out of school, I certainly didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, but I knew I'd always been a church musician and always had that something that really fed me on a number of levels, but also, as you pointed out on a very practical uh, basis, it was my steady income, and still 40 years later at the same church. Uh, so I, I can I can definitely relate to that. And there's also the, the funny thing that was going on in the 19th century, this amazing attempt to rediscover what real Gregorian chant was, what was going on. So then this had a huge influence on these guys, and this it sort of it starts infusing into their music like, you know, uh, color comes into water. And pretty soon you have these exquisite arrangements of, and, and people thinking both at the keyboard and vocally specifically about chant. You know? Well, that, that, of course, when you think of someone, well, not just Durofle, but uh, many of these composers, that's right, that's just in, in, ingrained, inherent. And, of course, there's no more, as you know, you're such a champion of this repertoire, uh, there's no more beautiful, natural, um, or, you know, just, just fundamentally perfect music than chant. And it's wonderful to take. I mean, you even find that in Bach, even this good Lutheran in Germany. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, mm -hmm. you see these themes that run through all of this texture yep. and all this structure and all this counterpoint. But there it is, unmistakably. And um, yeah, I, 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 this is any time I can do a French program, I'm there. <laughs>